Asepsis, applying and removing protective barriers. The purpose of this procedure is to provide barriers for the medical clinician to be protected from airborne, contact, or droplet infectious diseases. This process is to be used for isolation purposes and in some cases in an office practice during a procedure if splashing is a possibility and surgical asepsis is not required. Hold the gown in front of you and place your arms into the sleeves. Pull the sleeves down to cover your wrists and tie the gown securely at the neck and waist. Non-sterile gloves can be put on by pulling them over the ends of the gown sleeves, covering the cuffs completely. Find the top edge of the mask, which usually has a thin metal strip along the edge. Hold the mask by the top two strings or loops. Keeping the top edge above the bridge of your nose, gently pinch the upper metal band around the bridge of your nose so that it fits snugly. Apply protective glasses, goggles, or shield comfortably over your eyes and check that your vision is clear. Be sure the eyewear fits snugly around your forehead and face. To dispose of these protective barriers, remove the contaminated gloves first and wash your hands. Remove the mask from your face, holding the tie securely. Discard the mask in the proper receptacle. Remove eyewear while avoiding placing your hands over the soiled lens. Untie the waist of your gown, then untie the neckties and wash your hands again. Slip your fingers inside the cuff of the other hand. Pull the gown over the hand, being careful not to touch the outside of the gown. Using the hand that is now covered by the gown, pull it down over the other hand. Pull the gown off of your arms, holding it away from your body and rolling it into a ball with the contaminated side inside. Dispose of the gown in the appropriate receptacle and wash your hands thoroughly.